here's some more quirked up white boys out there. Trump supporters gathered outside the FBI office in Phoenix, Arizona. Photographs taken this morning show Trump supporters carrying handguns and assault style weapons on the street. That is loud under Arizona's open carry law. One of the demonstrators said they're at that location to support Trump and protest what they call. Good thing they don't have a nail gun. That's when you know popping you know what i mean like our brave boy over uh what was it dick Schiffer? dick schiffer what a legend with a nail gun dude call the unlawful search at mar-a-lago now this week the fbi along with the department of homeland security issued a joint intelligence bulletin warning of violent threats against federal law enforcement courts and government personnel as well as facilities this is Gestapo crap. <laughs> Dude, I love that. I thought that they would move to like a TikTok, like a hog talk that we've looked at. You know what I mean? No. The greatest hog talk of all. Fucking Lobo. Lauren motherfucking Bobert. She's already giving the content directly to you. You don't even need to search far and wide to find like uh, some random HVAC guy in Arkansas being like, I'm going to kill the FBI. It's like, no, you got sitting representatives that will say it for you. And it will not stand. The Department of Injustice needs to be clean. Oh, fucking no! Oh! She said the Department of Injustice. God. God, they're so whack, dude. It's so funny. They're like, uh -huh. the Department of Injustice? We will not stand for this injustice from the Department of Injustice. Aaron Sorkin. That's Aaron Sorkin shit. That is the liberalization of the American hoglet. Okay, straight up, 100%. ...out if they are going to start pretending we're some sort of banana republic. What do you say uh, to those voices on the far right who spent all week slamming the Bureau's integrity and, and I mean, really using the kind of language that uh, could lead to violence, could animate some, um, you know, extremist out there who, who might be thinking about doing something uh, violent? Grow up. This is wildly irresponsible. This is directly leading to violence. Shut the fuck up, bitch. What do you mean, grow up? Oh, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, they'll, they'll grow up. No, dude. No, let the contradictions play itself out. That's what I say. That's content. That's content. Just let it... Here's what I think, okay? As long as they're still, like, trying to penetrate hard targets like the fucking FBI field office, who cares? They're only gonna fuck themselves, you know what I mean? They're not gonna actually do a fucking violent revolution by taking down the FBI office. First of all... If you want to do that, you have to take over like areas of, of I guess, what would it be like, uh, like uh, the electric grid? You know what I mean? You can't fucking go after the FBI field office. There's nothing going on there. I'm not. This is not advice. Obviously, I'm just saying that like, yeah, you have to you have to like infiltrate or target strategic targets, right? You can't just like fucking go into the FBI field office and be like, yeah, that's right. We're doing a revolution. Like you're going to get fucking owned. My point is, and obviously this is not advice. Don't write this down. Stop writing it down. Stop writing it down. My point is hogs and hogalinas going to the fucking Cincinnati FBI office or the Arizona FBI office to do a demonstration or show of force is the exact same kind of idiotic energy of, of the January 6th insurrection, right? Where it's like, that's not a coup. That's not how you do a coup, dumbass. You don't just like fucking try to stop a symbolic process from playing itself out once the votes have already been uh, counted a million times over. That's not... <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you're going to ruffle some feathers. People are going to get killed. People are going to get into trouble. You might go to jail. But like, <laughs> you're doing the, you're doing something that is playing itself out in the dumbest way possible. I mean, stopping a vote from happening is how Bush got elected. Yes, that was a successful way to do it. That wasn't a symbolic like, oh, yeah, let's fucking stop. The symbolic part of this process where they're like uh, authorizing the votes or whatever. After all the ballots have been cast and they've been fucking calculated or tabulated. That was legitimately the appropriate action to fucking take from a competent Republican party that had their eyes on the fucking prize and went in to a location. They had already infiltrated some of these institutions like the Supreme Court. They already had Jeb Bush as the governor helping out his brother win the election. That is entirely different than like deciding to do the Brooks Brothers riot at the last fucking second in the halls of Congress as they are authorizing votes that have already been tabulated, counted 10 times over, you know? And the same exact, like, idiotic, incompetent potato energy exists within the Arizona FBI office uh, uh, being being threatened by armed protesters. Like, that's not how you do, like, a violent revolution, okay? Uh, here are some of the hogs and hogalinas that went to the Arizona, uh, that went to the Arizona FBI office. Let's take a look at that. FBI, honor your oath. 
Arrest all traitors. What, what do they mean? Like, do they mean like arrest them? We're here fighting for our President Trump. We're here in support of Trump. But what happened to him? The unlawful search with the FBI and his mar a lago home. Hey, Trump, do something! Now we're waiting to see what DeSantis hey, is going to do because Florida happens to be his state. And we want to see if DeSantis is going to step up hey, on the side of Trump and Trump supporters. We're out here standing yeah. for freedom. Yeah, and DeSantis, do the right thing! Of this tyrannical government called the Biden regime. Dude, I love that. It's like the most fucked up grandmas, dude, and grandpas. You know what I mean? They're out there. They're doing their thing. This is like you're fucking bored, okay? You're retired or you have a business, so you don't have to like actually go to work. You know, other people are making money for you. So you just have a lot of free time. This is shit people do when they have a lot of fucking free time. You don't see me out there doing this shit because I'm fucking streaming for eight hours. You know what I mean? This is that sweet, sweet HVAC life. We will not stand by and we will not stand down. We're going to stay out here, we're going to fight, and we're going to take the fight to the FBI if need be. You can record me, you can look for me. I don't care, we're all law-abiding Americans Ray Donnell, thank you for the five. We're not BLM, we're not Antifa. We are out here, and we're going to stay out here, win the fight. We're going to win this fight on behalf of Trump. If Trump fought for us, we're going to fight for him. Let freedom ring. And how do you feel about the FBI right now? What do you think? What do you think they can do to? What's something they could do to make you happy? Or can they do anything? They can't do anything at this point. They've lost all credibility at this point. So we're to the point now where we have to dismantle them and start over. We need American loving. It doesn't matter what side of the aisle you're on, as long as you're on the side of right. That's what we want. We want the people to do right by this country. And doing right by this country means the FBI needs to give back those uh, classified documents. Back to Trump, right? That's like, is that what they mean? Like, is that... What's the goal here? Like, they're mad at the FBI for retrieving classified documents that Trump had at Mar-a-Lago that he's not allowed to have. So, like, the right thing to do in this situation is to give those documents back to him. He should be able to show that, show off to all of his friends at Mar-a-Lago. How dare you take this stuff? That was his. It's called Founders Keepers. Losers Weepers, okay? Have the FBI thought about not letting them have the documents first? Well, they failed. And I'm running for office. There's election law that apparently protects me and supposed to protect people like Donald Trump. This man literally did what I was joking about. And he's like, I'm running for office. So obviously you can't arrest me because I'm running for office. I get to be a three percenter. And as long as I'm running for office, I can go and shoot people up. Okay. Right now. That man's basically declared. He knows they know he's going to run for president. For them to pull this move. This is what they do to Americans though every day. FBI, federal court systems, they will deny you bail. They will deny you a lawyer. Your lawyer from the federal defender because you can't afford one is gonna gaslight you. And even the bar lawyers, they, they facilitate the deprivation Brother, you literally are like a back the blue guy talking about how awful the criminal justice system is. Like, you're right about everything you said, except like you never apply that to the average fucking citizen. You only apply that to like Donald Trump and other small business owners that fucking uh, went and and uh, did a, a hog Disneyland trip inside of the fucking Capitol. Like, what, what do you mean? ...of rights and the, the level that it happens, they don't even talk about like, yeah, we're talking about Trump and his and this search and whether it's constitutional or not and it's not constitutional it's not a constitution i would love to have a dialogue with these people and talk about how we're going to save lives in america because we have all these catastrophes that we're facing and, and quite frankly it is a result of the biden administration see all the voting fraud on frankspeech.com the cyber this is like a zoo webcam live feed yes it's awesome it's fucking perfect it's exactly that and it's fucking dope They just, they, dude, anyone that's this big of a fan of stickers is just not, they don't have their heart in it, okay? If you have a plate carrier with zero fucking plates in it, and or you're wearing like an airsoft vest, and all you've done is put fucking stickers all over it, like, you're not actually in it. Like, you got no skin in the game. All the, all you want is just fucking fun times, okay? That's it. Like, you're just, you're just running around trying to have fun with the rest of the hogs. This is no different than, like, trying to have a barbecue, but because it's America, it's like, this is the most political action you're gonna get and of course everyone has fucking guns oh my god look at how many flags she has dude what the fuck what is he do what is that bro tell you what 
Why are you here now? Protecting rally participants. From what? The FBI? Good luck. For life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Give it to us by our great and glorious God on high. Okay, this dude doesn't even have a flag. He just, that's a weapon. Like a lot of these people, they carry flag poles because they can use the pole as a weapon. Homie is not even like, homie's built like a bloodborne boss, okay? Look at his wife rolling up behind him. Oh my God, his poor fucking wife. Look at this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, he does have a flag. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, I love that he has the POW MIA flag. Freedom! Vote Trump for the unborn and religious liberty. Our God is an awesome God. And he sent his only begotten son. Not just for one of them. Or for one particular sin. He the thing I'll never understand is how, like, all these people are just, like, sitting around yelling and stuff. And not a single one of them goes, yo, are we fucking crazy? Like, are we a little crazy? Like, no time for self-reflection. Like, if I'm if I'm standing next to a dude that looks like that and he's just saying, like, God is on our side, on our holy righteous conquest, we must, we must storm the halls. Like all this shit, I'd be like, damn, racist Santa's popping off, but like, are we fucked up? Like, wh what's happening? Wh wh what are we doing right now? Not even a single one of them's like, yo, maybe we're just like kind of whack and kind of crazy. He came and walked amongst us to show us who the father was and is. So let's acknowledge the love that is what we're supposed to do. You know what the toughest job on earth is? Being able to forgive those who, who trespass against us. Dude, look at his hands shaking. Brother, just go home. Go home, man. Like, pick up a different hobby. Clearly, you're we not. We can acknowledge that we can forgive ourselves. Look at him. He can barely hold on to the fucking flag. Like, his hand is shaking. He of the no sin cast the first stone. But let's accept the fact that we have a job on this earth to do and stand for truth. And that's what we're here for today. I don't care who comes against us. If God gives it, no one can take it away. We will resist evil. Whether it was with good intentions or not, we will resist your evil. We don't give a <laughs> we don't give a damn about your good intentions or your gun laws. We care about the Bill of Rights. I'm a, I'm gonna be honest. Like there isn't a lot of organizational. I, I'm not seeing a, a, a lot of uh, organizing here. Okay, they're kind of all over the place. They're basically like they're they're screaming into the void a little bit. Homie looks like my PUBG character. Yeah, I mean he's got the load. He, yeah, he looks like he picked up uh, he picked up the vest from the ground and the gun from the ground, and he's just like piecing it together. Nobody wants to talk about the great new reset. Now you're gonna eat bugs and walk on treadmills to produce electricity. The whole green new world. You're gonna eat bugs and walk on treadmills to produce electricity. Yeah, meanwhile, this guy, he's above it, dude. He's totally outside of the system. He's really figured it out. He's really, he's really figured it out. All these guys think that they're so much fucking smarter than the average schlub who has been captivated by the system. I love that. He clearly watched Snowpiercer and uh, Black Mirror. No, it's a 4chan. Uh, it, it, this is what they talk about in the forums. Like, like you're a bug man. You're a consumer, okay? You're stupid. And all you do is like, you'll eat bugs because they are the most like, they're the only type of protein you will be able to consume in the future. That's what he's saying. Even Chapo uh, makes jokes about eating the bugs and living in the pods. Yeah. I mean, it's an understandable, it's an understandable fear or frustration that we have with the future. Okay, uh, as like resources dry up as a consequence of anthropogenic climate change, as all this shit happens, all you will have to eat, all you will have to be able to eat is just like bugs that are packaged to you and sold to you as though it's like delicious and good. That's the fear that people have. But ultimately, my point is, it's impossible to escape the system. You're not Ted Kaczynski. You're not doing an eco-fascism. You're not like uh, organizing. You're just reinforcing or basically playing the same song and dance and you think you're above it you think you're above the system when you are absolutely a part of the system and so am i by the way i am too so is chapo so is everybody else so are the people on twitter that fucking yell at me and say like dude you're a fake socialist like everyone is everyone is playing that exact same role within within the system everyone is doing it you might feel like you're outside of it but you're not drop your fucking badge and walk away from your job it would be better that you starve to death with your fellow countrymen 
Nothing proves to me that Americans are just as cucked as the British are and would love to have a monarchy than their admiration for someone like Donald Trump and their advocacy for Donald Trump to be just categorically above the law. Like their expectation is like, no, Trump should be able to do whatever the fuck he wants and fuck you. Like, how dare you? Like they want, they, they just literally want a monarchy. Like they're so cucked that they never had a monarchy that they absolutely, like their, their entire fucking nation building project hinges on avoiding a monarchy, okay? And defeating a monarchy. And yet they are now begging for it personally. That's insane. And former President Trump maintains all the documents seized were declassified. He had the authority to do that as president. And again, Hillary Clinton had an entire private server. So why is justice being applied unequally? I flew down to Palm Beach, Florida and spoke to Trump Let's supporters go. outside of Mar-a-Lago to hear what they had to say about that. Why? Let's go, baby. Yeah, why is justice being applied unequally, huh? Get to the bottom of it by asking some of the most, like, obviously mentally ill people you can find in one area, okay? These are the people who I need to learn from. These are the people who I need to fucking hear from, okay? What is your view on the FBI and why they decided to raid uh, the former president's property? I think they're just a mafia, you know, being a... Uh ordered by Ray. And after this man, our ex-president, for so long, they're trying to find any kind of dirt they can pull up on him. This is insane. I never see this happening in the United States. Biden has to go to jail. Hunter is the one FBI has to go and get it. Everybody hates him on the left. I mean, he's the only person here that can really, you know, put these guys in jail and really drain the swamp. And that's basically, I mean, this has been going on now for over six years. Ever since he came down the escalator, they've been after him. Yesterday was the ultimate. We've never seen anything like that in my life. I believe that they're trying to make it so he cannot run. I think they're trying to attack the American people and they're trying to go after the person who put us first and put our American godly values first. That's why I believe they're going after him to intimidate us as Americans. Dude, that's awesome. I mean, it, that's awesome. There's just no other way to look at this other than fucking awesome. Absolutely, unequivocally fucking awesome. He was trying to drain the swamp and he just simply couldn't. You know what I mean? He just simply couldn't drain the fucking swamp. And that's why people are, that's what's going on. Not because Trump was just doing Trump shit and didn't, and forgot that he wasn't fucking president anymore by like keeping classified materials or something, but because uh, he, they, they were just worried he's going to fucking drain the swamp too hard. Makes you wonder what they will do after Trump finishes the second term and can't run for a third time. I think they should let him do it at that point. Like, why not? Another Pennsylvania man was arrested uh, today against uh, FBI. Threats against FBI after the Mar-a-Lago search. Dude, this is fucking great. Wow, in the raid by the FBI of Mar-a-Lago, they stole my three passports. One expired along with everything else. This is an assault on a political opponent at a level never seen before in our country. Third world. Here it is, folks. Ron DeSantis coming out and giving his advice and his opinion on the Donald Trump raid by the Gestapo FBI. But before that, let's hear from Charlie Kirk. That wasn't just a raid against Trump. That was a raid against your values. That was a raid against you. Why? Why? Are your values withholding classified information from the FBI when they ask for it back nicely? Is that your value? Because in that case, like, yeah, you will get fucking... Not only will they raid your home, but they'll probably kill you too. Because, you know, that's how they operate for normal people. That is a presidential landmark where treaties were signed. Deals were negotiated. That's a desecration of the conservative movement. And they say, well, we're a very non-political branch of law enforcement is what we are. I'm telling you, let me ask you this. Do you think it's more cuck to be born into a monarchy, like a country that has a history of, of being a monarchy and like wanting to continue it? Or do you think it's more cuck when you are a nation whose entire nation building project hinged on a revolutionary war against a monarchy that you defeated and you still want a monarchy now? As much as I shit on the British, as much as I shit on the Oibrovs, they don't know any better. This is the world that they grew up in. Americans, you have no excuse. You have no excuse to behave this way. Like, he's like, oh, it's, 
It's like Buckingham Palace, bruv. Mar-a-Lago, it's like Buckingham Palace. It's a cultural landmark for the conservative movement, yeah? These are our royals they're coming after. That's crazy. He said, Mar-a-Lago is a cultural landmark where treaties were signed. By golly, unacceptable. I want to see more of that, but before that, let's hear what Ron DeSantis has These to say. These agencies have now been weaponized to be used against people that the government doesn't like. And you look at the raid at Mar-a-Lago, oh, and I'm just trying to, I'm trying to remember, maybe someone can remind me about when they did a search warrant at Hillary's house in Chappaqua, when she had a rogue server and she was laundering classified information. I don't remember them doing that. I do remember them manufacturing a false conspiracy theory about Russia collusion. I remember that. That was not true. That was an why didn't Donald Trump arrest Hillary Clinton? He would have done a good job. I would have been on board with that. Stop posting Trump's L's. Anytime you say butter emails, anytime you say Hillary Clinton got away with it, you're openly stating that you're a pathetic loser fucking cuck and your pathetic loser president lied to you and you're not even asking to hold him accountable. You're just totally fine with him being a pathetic loser cuck. Hillary Clinton is free right now. She is free. She can breathe the free man's air, okay? Donald Trump, on the other hand, about to get fucking blasted. An abuse of power. I remember a lawyer for the FBI got caught doctoring an application for FISA surveillance against an innocent man. I remember the FBI at Merrick Garland's direction being sicked on parents going to school board meetings. Meanwhile, when you have a law that protects Supreme Court justices, is the FBI out there protecting our conservative justices? No. When you have violence Wait, what? No, there literally is. Yeah, no, they are doing that. And also on top of that, not only are they protecting, most of the justices are, most of the justices are conservative. Trump did that. Opinions on DeSantis worth voting for? What do you mean? Worth voting for? What the fuck is wrong with you? How fucking cucked are you that you would ever think to vote for a fucking demon like this, dude? Are you out of your mind? Violations of law where people are targeting cr pregnancy crisis centers. Are they doing their job and enforcing the law there? No, they're enforcing the law based on who they like and who they don't like. That is not a republic. Well, it may be it's a banana republic when that happens. He doesn't have Trump's pizzazz. Like, he really wishes he did, but he does not have Trump's pizzazz. You know what I'm saying? He's trying, but it's not working.